But first, it's a non-traditional church that's putting on its first rodeo, and that makes sense because it's called the Cowboy Church of Orange County. Tom Wright joins us from the Cowboy Church with more. Tom? Thanks, Kelly. We're here in this arena that they uh, have ready for the rodeo with this Mike Gallier. And uh, uh, the idea is to put on a rodeo, get folks interested and kind of uh, let them know who you, what you guys are all about. And one of the things you're going to be doing is, is something called mutton busting. And, and folks, some folks know what that is, but if you don't, what's mutton busting? Mutton busting is when we have a, a child that's uh, between the ages of zero and five and there's a weight limit on that. And what they do is they hang on to a sheep and they come out on the sheep and try to get a high score or high, high time on that. And then uh, they get a prize. It's kind of like bull riding, but with uh, a sheep and little kids. But a sheep and little kid instead, <laughs> well, and it's just as entertaining. If you ain't never seen it, it's uh, well, it's really we good. We have an example. In fact, the writer's your uh, your son, My right? My son. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, Dale. Whenever y'all are ready, this is mutton busting, and oh, there, here we go. Oh, all the way up. Here we go. Come on, Brent. Hang on, Brendan. Come on, sheep. <laughs> well, that sheep's not very cooperative. It's not running too fast, but. <laughs> That's kind of the ideal. <laughs> well, Hi, Brendan. Well, <laughs> Hi, Brendan. well, normally the sheep takes off running. Normally the sheep will and, take and off <laughs> running. Uh, I kind of requested one that wasn't I too fast. Because your son's what? Uh, he's eight? only two. Okay. He's kind of a young rider. Kind of young. But he got him all. Got his productive gear on. Oh, yeah. And if, you know, you guys out here, not only do you, you're going to have the rodeo, and we'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a minute, but, but you encourage cowboy activities, and so when folks want to get involved in, in rodeo activities, you're going, to, you're going to do weekly activities after this rodeo. Yes, sir. We have weekly activities out here such as barrel racing, team roping, uh, and calf sorting. Every week, uh, the calf sorting is on Friday nights, every Friday night, weather permitting. We also have team roping on Mondays. It's a $10 fee uh, but it's rope all you want to rope for 10 bucks so and a, you want to practice you want to get used to it okay, yeah get, practice okay. it's a good place to come out and learn i tell you what we have a bull here too so we let's step out of here let, we're going to get out of this arena and we're going to let this bull rider take off right. and we're going to get behind the gate because this is a little unsafe all right whenever y'all are ready and while he takes that ride let's just mention that uh, folks want to get involved with the rodeo you have a date coming up which is uh, called the books, right? It's it's Bulls and Barrels uh, on August the 13th. Uh, books are going to open on the on the 8th. So here we go with uh, the bull. Here comes our here comes our bull rider. We're ready. Let him rip. Oh no! Oh, okay. That's that's some cowboy in there, right? That's cowboy. Yeah. All right. All right, well, get involved. Get, give them a call. Find out what they're all about. Thanks a lot, Mike. We appreciate Alrighty, it. Thank you. All Back to you, out. Kelly. Thanks, Tom. And coming up next on Live at 5, advice on how gardeners can...